Alright, welcome back to my Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas. So, our current objective. We have successfully, as you can see, cleared out all the night can in the basement, and now we need to go tell Jason Bright that it's all clear and that he can continue his journey. Uh, we let Harland out. He was trapped in this room, and I died multiple times trying to clear the room and explore it, but I'm done with that, and now we can let them go on their sacred journey. So we're going to go back upstairs, away from where that Nightkin leader was locked in that room that I somehow missed that entire time. I don't exactly know how that happened. I'm fairly wounded at the moment. Uh, I think I hit a couple trip mines, so I'm not running too fast. Hoping that maybe after they go on their sacred journey I can sleep in one of the beds and heal up if it's not too irradiated. So, alright, we're in the basement, now we're going back upstairs, and we're going to go talk to Jason Bright. So it shouldn't be too much longer until we get there. Thankfully, I still have somewhat of a memory of how to get around this place. I thought an event was going to happen there. Usually whenever the game, like, freezes and hangs like that for a second, someone's going to, like, sneak up behind you and talk to you. Like a Dark Brotherhood member in Oblivion. Picking someone's pocket and placing a mine in there? Is that what the tip said a second ago? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Was that hanging before? I don't remember. Repcon test site. I don't think that's where we need to go. I think we need to go upstairs. Oh, well, hello. Yes. Alright, I guess he was gonna talk to me. Hey, where, where are you going? I don't even remember there being stairs here. You, Jason Bright. Is the way clear? The way is clear. I can finally say the demons are gone. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Alright, it looks like they're all going to the basement, and they are in one heck of a hurry to get there. Now, I'm fairly confident that I know where they're going. Uh, we found that way through the sewers. I really can't run, because I'm wounded. But yeah, let's go, uh, let's go see if they're gonna set out on their journey. I'm not 100% sure what's gonna happen here. But he invited me to come along with them, at least to, to witness it. So, let's get moving. I can at least follow some of these people. If they don't get too far ahead of me. And Boone is probably following along behind me. Yeah, there he is. Crazy man Boone with his, uh... Awesome sniper rifle. Man, this walk speed for being wounded is really starting to bother me. And it looks like I still have a course objective, so it's at least going to lead me there if I lose track of these guys while I'm following them. Oh, man. They are outfitted in spacesuits. That is kind of awesome. I don't know when they changed into their spacesuits, but they did. Um, did I get there by going through the door behind this guy? Is that how I got here? Yeah, I think this is the way. Went down further, and here's the tunnel. So this has got to be where they're going. That's the only path through the basement that I could think that they would go to. There's nothing in that room. Yeah, we found the spot where they had the spacesuit, and it can't be a coincidence. That has got to be where we're going. We 
got a door straight ahead. There he is. The bright man himself. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Okay. Um, I guess we can fulfill another side quest here. And I mean, if everyone's happy, if the ghouls are gone, and Novak is completely clear, then sure, let's just go ahead and fill out this side quest. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. Wow. So you're gonna leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. Sounds about right. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. <sighs> here's a here's a decision. I can I don't think I can convince Chris. If I try to convince him that he's human, he's just going to get angry at me. I can congratulate him on fooling him. I can stay out of it, which kind of seems like the best option here. I don't know. I'm just going to stay out of it. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Alright, well, I'm not going to criticize their rockets. I'm just going to tell him goodbye. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Alright, so Jason Bright's gone. It looks like Chris is here. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Alright. I don't know if I need to, uh... I don't need to say, what do you do here? He kind of... I already know what he does here. So, I'll ask him about the rockets. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna ask him, what do you do here anyway? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Uh, I don't know whether I should ask him why don't they let you work down on the launch pad. <laughs> he might die. When I joined the Flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Okay, here we go. I can make him angry, or I can ask him 
How can I help? Obviously, he's not going to... Uh, I don't know. He might try to make the journey if I don't tell him. I'm gonna ask him how I can help. I'll come back and say this later. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Alright, well, I have to pick which one to find. I kind of think that maybe I should try the... Thrust control modules sound a lot easier. I'll track down the thrust control modules. Alright. Anything else? That's interesting. Look at that. What about this rocket souvenir? The stuff inside glows. Let me see. Yes, that's the igniting agent. But we'll need more of these souvenirs. A total of five should do it. Well then, look at that. All right, let's let's ask about the uh, thrust control module. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Hmm. I don't know. Didn't I just ask him this? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Alright, so, here's the plan. Bye. We're gonna go back to Novak, we're gonna get some souvenirs, I'm gonna rest up, and I'm gonna hit the uh, merchant outside and see what I can do. So, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to follow this path. I guess I probably could have left up there. That's probably faster. I just need to get outside so I can fast travel back to Novak. So here's the ladder. I am crippled. Use a stim pack, sleep, or find a doctor. I'm hoping that I can still fast travel while I'm injured. Hoping. I mean, realistically, I'm not going to be traveling that fast. Okay, world map. We need to go to Novak. Uh, what is that? Helios 1? I don't know what Helios 1 is. The light generated from your Pip-Boy light actually makes you less stealthy. If you want to effectively sneak, turn it off. How does that work? Like, pressing B to access your Pip-Boy makes people see you? I don't actually know how that works. Alright, so, we still have a motel room, even though, uh... The motel owner is now laying in pieces out there in the road outside town. But, I can still sleep in the motel room. So, I'm going to go find my room. I think this is it. It's been a long time. And let's be well rested on this queen bed. It is 428. Let's sleep for 12, 14 hours. 628 AM. Seems like a good time to wake up. And I've had a long day, so I think getting a little extra sleep will probably help me out a little bit. So we'll start bright and early. I am now well rested. Fully healed. Uh, Boone just stood there and kept watch all night. I don't know if he has to sleep. I don't think he does. Maybe he just took a nap. But yeah, I'm back up to my full moving speed. I can even jump if I want to. And, uh... Shoot, I thought I had more rockets. Maybe I can buy some rocket souvenirs. I don't feel like stealing them. 
It might be too early to buy them. Can I wait? Yeah, let's stop outside and wait a few hours. I should have just kept sleeping. Alright, so let's wait three hours. And just stand here outside the shop. He should be open by 9.44 a.m. Having fun at the Hoover Dam. There he is. Cliff Briscoe. I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. I guess so. That's just in case, uh... Oh! Wow, that's, uh... That's kind of brash. Kind of brave to say that to this guy. Technically, he didn't kill him. Boone killed... Or, technically, he didn't kill Jeannie Mae. I didn't kill Jeannie Mae. Boone killed Jeannie Mae. I led her to her death. Put on the beret, and Boone shot her head off. But, uh, let's see. I'm just going to leave that alone. Now, I figure they give you the key just in case you didn't talk to Jeannie Mae, so that you have a place to stay. I already had the key to the room, but now I have another one. Let's use Science 40. Is there radioactive material in your rocket souvenirs? I, uh, well, I don't really know. Would that sour you on buying one if it did? Okay, that was kind of pointless, but yeah, let's ask if we can buy them. Really? I never thought I'd see the day. I mean, the day I'd part with them for such an incredibly low price, with so many other offers flooding. Oh, shut your mouth. But I like you. I think maybe it's time. All that's left is in the storage room here. You can buy the key from my store. Really? <laughs> I can try to barter, but I don't think that's going to happen. Are you kidding me? I can't ship these things fast enough. People love them. Well, maybe if I say that I killed Jeannie Mae, maybe I can say I'll get a discount on the rockets then. Or else you might wind up out in front of the giant T-Rex. All right. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Sure, Let's there. buy this have key. It's got plenty of ammo. That might come in handy. Where's Dinky the T-Rex? Oh, I'll pay 82 caps for it. I don't care. Oh, I don't want to cancel. I want to accept the transaction. All right, that's all. Come back soon now. So now we don't have to pick that lock to get in here. And I guess I can take as many of these as I want. Five ought to do it. Vending machine's already empty, because I think I already cleared it out. Took a little bit of radiation there. Let's go talk to the junk salesman people here in town. Maybe we'll find those thrust modules. Thrust control modules. I think that's what they were called. Just buy some junk and see what we got. Hey you, what do you got? Mercenary? Hey there. He has nothing interesting to say. Looks like we have a local salesman right over here, and I'm going to talk to the doctor and make sure that I am not radioactive. Dr. Ada Strauss. What can I do for you? Can you heal my radiation? Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Okay. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. Alright, so I'm fully non-radiated at the moment. It might be a good idea to repair some of my armor and weapons, too. But yeah, let's talk to this... That is a mercenary. That is not a you and person me, selling stuff. How about you? What can I do for you? Medical supplies? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Doctor's bag? That might be good to have. Restore all body parts. I'll buy one of those. Fixer... She has nothing that is going to help me put all this stuff together. Thanks. Time for Later. me to go. Credited in, should I be 
Alright, maybe he had more stuff in his shop that I didn't think about. Let's go check back at his shop. We're looking for those thrust control modules. I think that's what they were called. Alright, Dino Bite. Sell me some thrust control modules. Cliff Briscoe, come here. Welcome back. Yes. You can give me thrust control modules. Sure Have a look. Alright, we're looking through the list very quickly. Just about done with this episode. Katana balanced grip. That's interesting. Medical brace? Guns plus 20. Might be worth buying a few of those. Power fist? 856 caps. Is that a chainsaw? A shot glass? That gun. Tweezers. No, I don't see anything here that's going to help me out. Shoot. Alright. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Tune in next time while we continue hunting down the rocket thruster control modules.